Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. And you might be wondering why I'm at the coin shop menu. And that's because in this video, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try and find ways to improve the game and, you know, the way it works because of the survey that they put out. This gives us an opportunity to bring up problems slash, you know, concerns slash improvements that could be made to Grand Cross. And I think it is important for, you know, gotcha games or just any game in general to do this because it not only benefits the, you know, the company, it benefits us as players too to bring up any problems slash concerns we may have with the game. But before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Greatly help out the channel. Also, leave a like and a comment to help out with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's just try, you know, let's just try and help Netmarble with their, with their game. Let's try and improve it. So again, I put out a video earlier and it was going over the summon rates because i know people had concerns about that and i understand now another problem or i wouldn't even say problem but i would say another improvement that they could make is to the coin shop system now the coin shop system in itself isn't bad however here's what i have a problem with it right because they have two sets of you know two sets of groups inside the coin shop itself that being the commandments and the sins and you guys can see how much the commandments cost they cost 10 platinum coins that is a ridiculously amount of coins needed to buy a single character a ridiculous amount of coins because if you're new or you know just returning to the game there is absolutely no way you're gonna have 10 free duplicate coins because you're gonna want to spend all those coins you get into the character itself so if you get dupes of let's say sario you're gonna want to put dupes into sario then you just lost a platinum coin to buy a character that you may want slash you know need and it's kind of crazy now in my personal opinion what i think they could do to reduce the strain in the coin shop is simply just to lower the cost of the unit right they could literally drop the sins nowadays the sins aren't even used as much they can drop the sins down right here in the regular pool where it says seven to easily to five. And then they can make the discounted one three. I see no problem with that. And then they could make the uh, commandments go down to seven and then they can make this go down to five. I don't un I, I don't understand why they, they're hesitant to do this because I, again, it's kind of ridiculous that you need to spend 10 platinum coins to buy a unit in the coin shop and then boom you're done you like you only get that one unit i think that's i think that's not i think that's craziness because nowadays people are probably just going to end up waiting for these units to appear on a banner and waste them on gems so they're not going to even be buying as like they're not even going to buy from here because the prices are too high like they're literally too high like this is more for veteran slash experienced players of the game now yes you can be smart you can save up enough coins right to buy um a full duped out version of a unit on here but if you want a commandment that's yo that's literally 50 probably 50 coins plus if you're buying the unit just straight up and that's a lot that that's actually a lot of coins for people who don't you know don't have dupes invested into many characters in the game yet so it's craziness like it's actually craziness not to mention people don't really summon well i, I don't want to say that but a lot of people probably aren't going to summon on every single banner and get enough coins to do that anyway most people only summon on like event banners or hype banners so yeah pretty craziness and then thus uh you know the uh pendant in the uh, part one and part two tickets i mean i think you could move the part one and part two tickets down to one now because pretty much if you're gonna have if you're gonna have people trying to buy units from the coin shop i don't understand why you have the part one and part two tickets at three because if you pull a new unit from said ticket you're literally only replacing one of those coins out of the three you just spent so kind of crazy but i mean it is what it is i hope i hope i hope they take what we said in that survey to heart because I, this is a you know a you know a concern of mine that I think the game could really benefit from if they just improved it because now instead of five you know for the discounted for the sins it'd be you know it would be uh, what is it three and then instead of seven it'd be five so I think that'd be good 
the gold and silver part is actually not that bad i actually think it's pretty damn good in my personal opinion i don't think it's that bad at all like when you go to silver i mean there's nothing really appealing anyway so we take a look at gold right we take a look at the gold coins nothing really appealing and nothing really to buy most people just use their gold coins for super awakening anyway so it's not like oh my god i i need to save up gold coins i mean i mean yeah it'd be nice but people just use it for super awakening anyway you definitely do not want to spend your platinum coins on awakening uh or super awakening characters that is that is an absolute no right that no that's no i'm just gonna leave it at that no but regardless i really do hope that they find some way to improve the coin shop in terms of the platinum coins again the gold and silver maybe they could add some more stuff to the friendship stuff right but the gold and silver actually seem fine to me i don't think that's a problem i think the platinum coins and buying the um the characters are what's really really gonna need to be improved come you know future updates but yeah that's not the only thing i have um concerns and slash improvements for another thing they could improve is how the sacred treasure shop works so currently in order to buy you know cosmetics you need to spend gems which is fair is fair honestly though i think they could make the discounted coin shop event that we get periodically a permanent thing i honestly think they could just make it a permanent thing so you guys don't know what i'm talking about the sr for discounts become seven yeah they become seven which is very very good um, I think they could make that a permanent thing. SSRs, I believe, instead of uh, 20, it becomes... Is it 15 or 10? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it is I think it is 15 or something like that. Regardless, it's lower than 20. So I think they could make the discounted coin shop um, event permanent. Or, the best case scenario, they could just simply make us use gold coins. Right? I mean, I see no problem with that. I know a lot of people will probably be on board with that. With making you know all of this you can just buy imagine you could buy a ur costume not with 30 gems but for like 5 million gold maybe 10 million and then you want to up it up since it's a ur right imagine just just i want you to sit there close your eyes and imagine instead of 30 gems you're using gold not only would that help the free to play player base people won't have to spend <clears throat> net marble forty dollars on a new costume set for every single character that you know releases right so keep that in mind please keep that in mind i understand they do need money but for every single character that comes out and then you have to literally spend like over forty dollars like lost vein uh not lost vein assault mode was what over sixty dollars or something like that the one was over eighty eighty dollars you just bought gems and now you gotta buy the cost that's insane that's absolutely insanity but yes i think a simple fix to this would just be maybe you could leave the event costumes to be bought with die or to be bought with gems um i think that actually would be fair to leave the event ones up you have to buy them with gems and diamonds or whatever you want to call them right i think that would be fair but for stuff like this a a, a, a duck mask for meliotis yeah Definitely should be used with gold. I don't see a problem with that. I think Netmarble should do that. Um, I hope they do that because that'd be the smartest thing they can do, actually. But we shall see what they do. I mean, seriously, though. Like, how long has all these, you know, costumes been out? I don't even have half the costumes because I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to buy costumes for every single character unless I'm really going to use them. I'm not going to sit here and buy costumes for every single character in the game and spend over literally probably a thousand gems make it used with gold there's no, there's no there's no problem with that i think a lot of people would agree with me on that you know on that basis on that standpoint but um we'll see what number does man we'll see what number does hopefully they do hopefully they do um make this a thing in the future even if it's just for like an event or something it's like instead of gems you use gold i literally oh my god it'd be it would be amazing but um yeah hopefully we do get something like this in the future we shall see what happens but thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far into the video i appreciate and love you all so so much and as always guys i will see you all next time